I think I just need to go ahead and do it. I mean, the letter said weeks ago, go ahead and run this like it was my farm. I know we said don't take out a loan, but I don't want to lose that used tractor that the store has. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and take out a loan. Uh, I, I, I'm I, fighting myself on it, but the only way to make this farm grow is to get this tractor. And I mean, if I can save myself $50,000 doing so by buying a used tractor rather than a, a new one. I mean, the soybean price is going up, but even if I sold all the soybean I have, I don't think I'll get the cash to go ahead and get that tractor. I mean, I'll pay off the loan rather quickly. I think. Yeah, let me go ahead and stop the tractor. I'm going to go ahead and take out that loan. Uh, it'll go right on the farm's account, I do believe. Now let's go ahead and borrow the cash that I need. Uh, let's see, it's 250 but I'm going to need some cash left over. A uh, $130,000 loan. Ah. <sighs> Before I make the purchase, I'm just going to sit here and think about it for a while while I seed this field with canola. Just to make sure. I mean, I'm 90% sure I need to go ahead and do it. I feel like the longer I sit here and don't buy that tractor, this keeps festering in my head that someone else is going to buy it on me. I don't know who would buy it on me. There's no one else around here, but you just never know. I've been so worried about losing that tractor though for like a couple days now and it's starting to get to me. Yep, I'm going to go ahead and order that tractor. Place the order so that way it'll be ready here maybe in a while. Well, I suppose there's no going back now. The purchase has been made. The money's already been transferred. Leaves me with $28,000 in the bank account to fool around with. Just enough to uh, go ahead and buy lime, fertilizer, and seed when we need it. I should have enough to finish this field here. Then I'll have to check the seed roll. But after this, I'm going to head right on down to the store. Get the tractor, bring it back to the farm. And put it right to work. Uh, I mean, it is a great addition to the farm. I'm just a little bit nervous of what the farm owner might say about it. I know he said they said don't take out a loan but uh, I'm tired of, of waiting for the money to go up I mean the money's going up just not up fast enough and I need to expand to bring in money faster because I need to I need to, to upgrade some things around here I mean I need to buy something to supply some more power to the farm that wind turbine is it's it's, it's maxed out all the time and if I place anything more down, I'm pretty sure that's more than what the farm windmill can handle. I thought about putting up another windmill, but for my future plans of the farm, what I'm seeing, I can buy on the store's uh, webpage. Another wind turbine is not going to be enough. So, yeah, it's just uh, down the rabbit hole I go. Just keep purchasing things. Every time I think I just need this, I just need that. And next thing you know, it just keep, the ball just keeps rolling. And I'm just nervous with this tractor I just purchased. The other farmer had a hard time getting it to work, so... <sighs> I, I'm hoping it works fine for me. But, like I was saying, uh, good news for today. The soybean price is going up. Hopefully it goes up quite a bit. I can go ahead and sell it and pay off a lot of this loan maybe before the owner knows I took out a $130,000 loan. I mean, if I can sell all the soybean and, and put back in like $80,000 off that loan and get it down to $50,000, it may not be a bad conversation. That, well, can I say a conversation? Letter-to-letter -letter conversation I have with them to say, well, I got this, uh, this $300,000 tractor for $250,000 and I only had to take out a $50,000 loan to grab it I'm just hoping that uh, I know how to operate this tractor nothing like being nervous and excited at the same time about the same exact thing but now that I got this field sown with canola 
bring the Cedro on down to the other field to drop it off and head on down to the store and grab the new tractor. The good thing about the tractor, well, there's a lot of good things about the tractor, but like I'm saying, a lot of things are going to make me nervous about it. 450 horsepower. So no problem pulling it. I could upgrade the seed roll to go from a 6 meter to an 8 meter. But I think for the first trial, I'm just going to leave it at a 6 meter to make sure that uh, everything goes fine. I may even sit here and watch the tractor work for a while. Just to make sure it's doing what it needs to be doing. It's going to be rather interesting for sure. There's no name in freckles. They're just having a blast in their horse paddock. All right. Now, I've only seen pictures of this thing. It's not like I can go down to the store and see it. Like a lot of things. I, can't, I go down to the store, there's nothing there. I order it, and boom, it's there. Let me unhitch this seed drill and go have a look-see at our brand new tractor. Well, there it is. A Case Autonomous Tractor. And it does have some wear and tear on it. I mean, the paint job is not too bad. I can order, I can always probably order up some paint and give it a touch-up. But overall, it looks good dual row crop tires on it so I could probably drive it well it can drive itself in fields a tractor that drives itself yeah I can see why the other farmer may have had some issues with it um, what I need to do is I need to whip up my tablet and get it in sync with the tractor Well, all right, it says it's connected. Well, let's go ahead and fire up the tractor. Well, she sounds good. Now, what I, uh, what I can do from a tablet is find out if it is in sync with it. I'll go ahead and get in front of it and it will follow my tablet around. At least that's what it says it'll do. So we'll see if it's connected. Alright, moment of truth. I'll start driving forward and see if the tractor starts following the tablet or not. This is weird. This is the only way I could see myself getting some help uh, uh, around here. Getting a tractor that can drive itself. So I'm trying to make some wide turns here and there to see how the tractor performs. And right now it's connected well to my tablet, so it will follow my tablet. And you can program it to stay a certain distance behind the tablet as it follows you around. Weird. I did a lot of research on this. I'm just glad they had to use one. Now when I get to a field, I can program it for each individual field and it'll work in the field. So I'm just curious how it's going to work. All right. Well, we made it to the field just fine. Deactivated the, the tractor with my tablet. And now, what I can do with my tablet is direct a tractor. Let me back up a little bit here. And direct the tractor over to the seed roll. Just slowly back up. It's weird driving it uh, with a tablet. Going nice and slow. And P for park. I'll hook up the seed roll. All right, now I got to program my tablet into the program of the autonomous tractor to go ahead and seed this field. 
All right, I hit drive. It's programmed. I probably shouldn't have parked my tractor down where it was. Hmm. Well, okay, it's 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 doing okay for now. But either, I must have programmed it wrong because it's not getting the whole width of the field. I better get in my tractor and follow around. On my tablet, there is a... There is an all stop button, so if something were to go wrong with it, I would assume if I hit all stop, it'd be fine. I really just hate to take off and leave the tractor to do its thing. But I can kind of keep track of it on the tablet to make sure it stays in its perimeter. I guess if it goes out of the perimeter, I should get a warning on the tablet. I, that's what it says. I, I really just uh, kind of hate right off the bat leaving a $300,000 tractor and a $100,000 seed drill alone in the field working on by a computer. But it's one of those things, it's meant to do this. Um, just got to put some faith into it. I wonder if I got insurance on this stuff. Well, what this does allow me to do, work is getting done in the field. I can go ahead and get work done myself. I'm going to put my faith into the tractor and computerized systems to get the work done. And I'm going to go get work done myself. Plenty of work to do here. I don't have any field work to do. But what I can do is go ahead and create more fields now that I got more help. It just, yeah, it still feels kind of weird that I'm leaving work to a computer. Well, if it works, it works. I'm, I'm all for it. Time to grab the subsoiler and go create another field somewhere. Well, there's two places I would like to create a field. I want to create a grass field over by the silo bunker. But the other day I was on, I believe I was riding around on Freckles, or was it No Name? I can't remember which one it was now, which is a shame because I've only ridden each once. I think it was no name. I thought about putting a field down here. And by me creating a field down here, I can kind of keep an eye on the tractor and the seed drill. I'm going to go over here and take another peek at this thing. Just make sure it's doing what it's doing. I'm actually going to whip out the tablet to see if the tablet is keeping in sync with the seed drill. And the tractor itself. Well, everything seems to be running just fine. It seems to be moving over perfectly, actually. It looks like it's working just beautifully. Best thing to do is just leave it be and go ahead and create another field and let that go to work. That's what it's meant to do. If I'm going to have it work here around the farm, i got to trust it. i got to trust that the computer system works well. All right, so down here is not a bad area to start creating another field. I'll leave the trees in here for now. I can come down later and cut them up. I don't want to come down and cut trees and realize I cut down trees I didn't need to cut down. Okay, let's go ahead and just create one over here somewhere. Off the road a bit. Nice open space. And I'm leaving just some space in between the fields because I may have plans for other things here. Alright. Here we go. So what this will allow me to do in the future is, as I'm harvesting a field, the autonomous tractor can seed, it can fertilize, it can lime. Pretty much do everything but harvest. But if it handles it well, I will upgrade the seed drill to the 8 meter wide. And that will get the job done quicker, which will save me on fuel in the long run. 450 horsepower, that's more than enough to run 
that C drill. Now, the only thing is, yeah, I got a new tractor. Um, I just can't drive it myself because there's no steering wheel. And I can't really see myself trying to run a tractor driving with a keypad. It was a little weird just backing up the tractor from where I parked it when it followed the tablet to where it was to backing it up to the seed drill. That felt this really, really weird. But another... This feels probably going to be bigger than that one that is seeding now. But man, it's, it's going to take me a while. When it comes time to harvesting with a harvester that we have, it's going to take a while. But the thing is, we're going to get a lot of yield off the field. It's just going to be good for the farm in the long run. probably should have bought like GPS for this tractor so I could have um, kept it in sync uh, straight lines uh, a nice precision field but I think early on it's fine it'll all work out just fine I think I'll just even use this tree as a boundary to start with make nice sweeping corners for it Yeah, this is going to be a pretty decent sized field, I do believe. Well, I do believe I got the perimeter of the field the way I want it to be done. That's one thing I can say about this farmland around here. It's relatively flat and open. There's so many possibilities of what you can do here. I can see myself staying here for the long haul, like I've said before. And just creating a huge farm. There's so many possibilities. But the problem with a huge farm is... Yeah, I'm by myself. Now, I guess I could always... If this autonomous tractor works out for me, I can always buy another one. And get work done around here. Um, I would just be kind of nervous of having a couple of them run around here. I think what I need to do is... Well, obviously, because I don't have the cash to do so. Heck, I didn't have the cash to buy this one. But, once I get used to one of them, I can see myself maybe running multiple ones of these autonomous trackers. Heck, at some point, you could have probably almost run it just by sitting on the sofa in the cabin off your tablet. Now, I'm hoping I can sync these up with the laptop and the desktop inside the cabin. So, like on rainy days, if I want to get work done... Maybe I can do it that way, but I think I think I just need to start off with I don't want to say small projects, but projects I know uh, until I get the hang of it. It just makes me wonder what the other farmer had problems with. Maybe they just weren't used to computerized systems. But this feels pretty good that when you're getting work done on the farm elsewhere and you're not doing it I mean my tablet hasn't sent me any signals or anything like that so fingers crossed now the tablet should tell me when it gets done work So, if it happens to work out well in that field, I'll probably take the seed drill back to the workshop. I have the extenders for that, so we can make it from a 6 meter to an 8 meter wide drill. And then we'll go ahead and uh, have it drill this field after I throw some fertilizer and lime down. But I really might get this loan paid off kind of quickly. I don't even know if the farm owner knows that there is a loan out yet. He, he, may, he may already know. I don't know if he's keeping track of the balance sheet here or not. But I mean, the letter just say, run it as if it was my farm. So, I mean, if this was my farm, I needed to take this next step to grow the farm faster, sooner. I 
it's one of those things, you know, I made the perimeter of this field. I don't know how big it actually is until you pretty much get done with it. Luckily, it's only about noon here. I really should go back and have have a snack because putting this field is probably going to take me the rest of the day. So hopefully by tomorrow morning, our new tractor should be good to go. Now, really, I should have brought the tractor right back to the shed and uh, done it once over on myself. Just to make sure it's up with uh, the oil and the hydraulics, cooling fluid, all that kind of stuff. Make sure the battery is charged up well, but I'm going to take it upon myself to put faith into the store that if it were to quit right away, it'd be like, well, you sold it to me this way, because they didn't sell it to me as is. There is a little bit of a warranty behind it. The store here seems to be pretty trustworthy. They seem to back up everything that they sell. I mean, they did me a great favor when I bought that logging trailer, and I used it for half a day. I mean, I bought it outright, and I brought it back and said, look, this is not what I'm looking for. And, uh, yeah, they struck up a deal, and they said, well, we'll just act like uh, we'll just put it off as is, as if you leased it for a day and a little bit of a restocking fee. So that saved me lots of money on the farm. I mean, at some point, you're going to make mistakes when you're purchasing things for your farm. It's just not going to work out for you. And I, I couldn't... I could not work that logging trailer for the life of me. So all that nervousness and anxiousness I had before buying the tractor, even though it's only in the early stages of it being used on the farm, it feels... It's put me at ease a little bit. Getting, you know, getting work done elsewhere that I don't have to do, I can... You know, I'm still a little bit nervous to make, you know, see how it runs. I can, I can see it out there in the distance. It's still in the field, so... I mean, it seems to be doing fine. Just keep trying to keep an eye on it in the distance out there, see what it's doing. I mean, it's going back and forth. That's all I can say. It's pretty neat. When you program it into the tablet, it kind of like shows you the course it's going to take. I, I you know, I'm not going to ask how it, how it figured it all out. The only thing I had to do, and I've kind of done it like uh, days ago, is you take your tablet and you drive around the edge of the field. And you just save the program into the tablet, and then uh, you sync it up with the tractor like I did at the store. And then you pre-program uh, pre the tractor with the, the course that you have, the field that you have, and then the computer system will figure out for the size implement that you have how to do to work in that general area. Kind of have to... When I get this field done, I want to do the same with this field. Yeah, so I think when I get done with this little section here, I'll drive back up and see how the autonomous tractor is getting along. I assume it's doing fine. Looks like it was doing fine. I'm going to head back to the cabin and have lunch. If it keeps on doing what it's doing, I'll, I'll finish up the afternoon. Plowing up this field here. And then I'll just have to spread some fertilizer, some lime down, and, and go ahead and plant. I already got in my mind, now that I got that tractor, it's like, what's my next step? And the odd thing is, the next step is to buy another tractor. But I need to buy one for myself that I can drive. But I'm pretty sure that's going to be a little ways off. But really, 
if the market gets just right, I have the cash already sitting in the silo to pay out that loan. And the tractor I want to buy for myself is not as expensive as that one it was there. Then I can start cutting grass while the tractor is seeding fields or doing whatever. Put that into the bunker and start selling silage more and more. Now as far as a loan goes, I'm not going to say a word to the owner about the, about the farm has a loan. And the thing is, if I don't get anything of him noticing that there's a loan or he has a problem with it, I hate to say how far can I push this before he does have a they do have a problem with how much of a loan I got taken out I mean if I don't hear nothing about you should you know I told you not to take out a loan I mean does that I mean if I pay up the loan quickly does would they have a problem with it is he is it the amount of the loan that they would have a problem with I just, seems like every day I, I do more things that just adds more questions that I don't have answers to But I think at this point, the farm owner should just put some faith in me and just say, well, when he got here, look what where the farm was, and now look where it is a couple months later. I mean, we got sheep, got chickens, got horses. Uh, this would be the... We came here one very small field. We will now have five fields. I got an upgraded seed drill, a much improved, why well, I think that's a much improved tractor over there working. I got a brand new shed, a brand new cabin. That's the only defense I got if they come back to me and say, we told you not to take out a loan. It's like, I'm just going to have to say, you know, like I just said, put some faith into me because look where the farm is at this point. I just wanted to get another headland done on the perimeter of this field number five. So planting canola in that field there. This field here might be soybean. Heck, I probably shouldn't say it might be. It probably will be soybean. And I really probably should start figuring out because with these fields getting bigger, I'm just going to use more product. Maybe I should find out a way of having like a dispensary at our farm where I can go get it in bulk and put it, put it at the farm. So there's the first little nook of the field done. Now that I can drive at a faster speed, it can kind of get an idea of the size of the field what's going to be to start with. I probably can come on down here and take out these two trees in the future um, when I feel like it. Actually, I could expand the field out that way as well. I don't want to leave any trees in the middle because with that tractor there, I don't know how it's going to handle if I leave obstacles in the middle of the field like a rock, boulder, trees. I don't want the tractor getting confused because the tractor is going to work inside the perimeter of the field that I have. Uh, pre-tracked out for it so I don't want it to have obstacles in the field feels good already so yeah in the future I left this open because uh, if I do get wild and crazy here a pig pen I I don't know so how is this autonomous tractor working? I mean, my tablet has, has not given me any warning sig signals, no alarms, but yes, it is doing perfectly. Other than the first, I would say the first headland, and probably I, I did something wrong with it. I'm pretty sure it's something I did. 
It just looks awfully weird looking at a tractor with no cab on it and no one driving and it's driving itself. Look at the precision how and how it works. And it backs up with implements better than I do. But what a great addition to the farm. I mean, this is the only way I can get help around here. I have to buy autonomous tractors to do the work. But in a way, isn't that better? I don't have to hire someone to drive a tractor. So I mean, I would, I would have to buy a tractor anyways for them to use. And then I would have to pay the worker to drive it. Instead, I just bought a tractor that comes with some software that hooks up to my tablet. And it's going to work just fine. Um, I'm going to head back to the cabin and have some lunch. A quick lunch, just in case something happens on down here. I may just uh, flip together a peanut butter sandwich. Come on down here and watch that tractor just to see how it performs and does well. And then, yeah, I need to finish plowing that field so I can get another field planted. And, oh my lord, the, the crops will start coming in fast and furious.